Okay, oh my god, look at this. This is chaos. Oh, what the hell just got me? Okay, hold on, we're going over here. Oh my god, you're dead again! What the hell, man? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the SNK arcade classic known as Akari Warriors. It looks like a couple of Rambos are just off Ramboing it up in a grayscale world. Of course, this will be taking place in the jungle. This is a vertical scrolling run and gun Rambo style shooter. Uh, from SNK, once again, also known, uh, they're, they're known for making the King of Fighters, uh, and other sort of fighting games. That's what SNK, I think, is a little more known for. So here, here's a taste of the gameplay, as you can see. Um, uh, this game featured a lot of, uh, sort of cool additions. It's basically modeled after Commando. If you remember back when we played Commando, that was one of the first, uh, sort of top-down vertical shooter games, um, if you recall. And in the 80s, everyone was all about shooting up terrorists in the jungle. So, of course, Commando would uh, strike a nerve, and people would start to uh, to make, you know, Commando clones, and uh, this is one of the games they come up with. So, let's go ahead and slam in some quarters and see if we can do better than the computer. Now, the arcade edition of this game feature... Oh, our plane is just crashing. This is We're just in, like, a crashy plane that, like, bums out in the jungle, and then off to war we go. I don't know who these, these people are that we found, but we're gonna gun them all down! Maybe these were people coming to, like, see if we were okay, you know? Like, they were, like, the rescue crew. They were like, yo, are you, you okay, man? And you're like, yeah, commando! And you just start killing them all. Oh, my God. These guys, these guys mean business. So I'm, I'm just sort of messing with the controls here for a second. So uh, the arcade edition of Commando here featured a very unique rotary-style joystick. And I do not have one of those. In fact, I don't think anyone has one of those, so uh, my control scheme is a little a little hacked together. Basically, what a rotary-style joystick is, imagine you have, you're holding a joystick, but the joystick itself uh, can, like, rotate. Um, so the joystick can sort of rotate through So see how my guy's kind of, like, spinning around here? I don't know if you can see it. See, see, see him kind of, like, rotating? So um, imagine you rotate the joystick, and he aims in the direction that you want him to aim. Now, oh my god, I've died twice. Now, I'm actually playing this with an Xbox 360 controller because despite all the controllers that I own, I experimented with a few different ones that might have sort of rotary controls and none of them really worked all that well. And so at the end of the day, I thought, well, whatever, I'll just have like, uh, the Xbox has uh, two th sort of thumbsticks. One thumbstick will move me and one th thumbstick will rotate me, but it's like easier said than done. Oh, I missed the tank there. Um, because it's, it's, it's just like a very sensitive control scheme. It's actually a huge shame because like, this is one of the things that I've talked about before in other videos about how like old games, sometimes there's like, there's no real proper way to play them. And like this game had such a unique controller, which I am totally in favor of. I love the, the idea of this controller. Um, but, uh, sadly, um, there's, there's no easy way to play it. Oh my God. <laughs> so it's gonna, so bear with me a little bit. As I kind of get used to the controller in this first level, um, I have played around with this a little bit, and I did get better with the controller, but that was a little uh, while back. So, you know, we're going to see this first level just a bit as I get used to the controller. Today, we're going to be checking this game out um, on uh, on both, uh, well, the arcade, but as well as NES and the Atari 7800. So uh, kind of a fun mix of, of consoles for us today. Um, I picked the NES version because uh, I actually had only ever heard of this game through the Angry Video Game Nerd. He played it for the NES. I'm, I'm curious because of him to go and try the NES version of this game. But uh, I'm also really curious. I don't play too many uh, Atari 7800 games. I know the 7800 was supposed to be a competitor to the NES. So I'm kind of curious how this game holds up uh, on NES and 7800. So I kind of want to compare them. Oh, I took a bullet right to the gut. Okay, we're gonna get in the tank this time around. We're gonna make this happen. All right, into the tank, into the tank, get in there. Oh, the tank blew up as I got in there. Oh, that that sucks. Okay, hold on, let's kill this guy. Kill oh, we got killed again. <laughs> oh, game over, game over. Okay, hold on. Uh, I gotta go in and, and change these controls a bit. They're actually they're actually too difficult to use as is. Okay, I've got a, I've got a slight variant here. Continue play. Press. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, we can continue. Boom, there we go, all right. So we can just coin feed this thing. All right, we are in the tank. All right, I don't know if this is gonna be a better way of uh, controlling the game. But yeah, it's, it's, it's such a shame 
in uh, in games when like there's no proper way to like control. Oh my god, my tank exploded. Proper way to control these old games because it's like these. You know, look, look at this game. Look, look how crazy it is. Oh god, aim, aim. Damn it. Uh, when you're like mostly handicapped by the controller, that kind of sucks. All right, go aim. There we go. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how these controls translate to NES. I'm, I'm not. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm not. Oh my god, we're dead again. Uh, I'm not convinced that NES can like handle these kinds of controls. Okay, I gotta mess around with this a little bit more and, and get this working before we carry on here. Okay, this feels a little, a little better right now. It's not perfect, but it's a little better. Um, anyway, interesting additions that this game had uh, over the, the base Commando series. This game introduced uh, ammo. So as you can see, I have 88 bullets, 87, 87 bullets, I'm totally dead. Um, you have ammo here, so you can't just sort of shoot forever. You actually have to take into account ammo. Vehicles had unlimited ammo, but they also had uh, fuel. So if you run out of fuel, your vehicle dies. So it's like you go around picking up these fuel canisters. My tank's turret is just like all over the place. Thank God it's invincible. Okay, it's going to explode. Get out of the tank and run for it. Oh my God, I can't aim. I can't aim. Ugh. Okay, so this is basically going to be a short game on the arcade because I... I legit am having like a lot of trouble aiming. Oh, you can go in the water here? Well, that's cool. Um, and again, it's basically because no control scheme exists uh, for home consoles or, or anything that like properly captures the rotary joystick that this thing had. I should be throwing way more grenades. Like, let's pow these guys out of existence. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, what? An explosion got me. Um, Alright, so I guess in this game you die pretty easily. I mean, this game is pretty realistic in the sense of, like, if you did try and, like, take on, like, a thousand bad guys, this is pretty much what would happen. You get your butt handed to you. So, I, like, I'm not even living long enough to run out of ammo, so I should I should really just pretend that there is no ammo and just, like, run with it. Uh, the fact that they're letting me credit feed, though, is, like, incentivizing me to sort of carry on here because I'm like, ah, oh, worst case scenario, like, I die every two seconds, but at least we're... We're getting places. Oh my god, you can't even walk into enemies. What kind of Rambo man is this? He's like, oh, sorry, I bumped into you. I guess I'm dead now. Like, that that's no Rambo, man. That's thats a, that, that's not a Rambo. Actually, I mean, obviously, Rambo is not the main character in this game. But interesting, okay, interestingly enough, this game is by SNK. This was, by the way, their first major breakthrough into the U.S. market. It wasn't King of Fighters. It was uh, Ikari Warrior here. Warriors actually because this is a co-op game you could be playing two players at once which is another addition onto the commando uh, template that the, the game developers came up with the people liked. playing games co-op is always fun but anyway um, there's a character in this game from King of Fighters and it is the guy you're looking at right now this this main character dude here who's on his little commando -y adventure he is Colonel something something I forget his name but he is actually a character in the game King of Fighters which is totally cool. I mean, that would be like if Billy from, you know, Contra was like, I don't know, in Street Fighter or something like that. I know it's different companies, Konami and Capcom, who made Contra and uh, Street Fighter, respectively. But, uh, but like, imagine that, you know? Like, that, that'd be pretty cool. Um, and actually, speaking of Contra, th these kind of top-down commando -y style levels and games and stuff... I never, I never played Commando or Kari Warriors back in the day, but uh, the one place that I knew this kind of gameplay was from uh, Super C. In Super C, every second or third level is like a top-down kind of level like this. Only it's like way easier than this, and you can actually get power-ups that's, uh, you know, like the spread gun. This game badly needs the spread gun. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, let's just, let's just destroy this thing and get the hell out of here. Oh, and we're dead. My controller seems to have trouble aiming to the left, so that's why, if you're wondering why I've never aimed to the left, it's because my controller literally has trouble with the concept of left. Just running through all these guys, forget it. You know what, we're, we're not dying because we're running out of fuel, we don't even get that far. So let's just run these guys over, yeah, mashing them, turning them into, into, into ground pork underneath our uh, tank tire treads. Um, oh, and our thing exploded. Did we get out? Did we get out? What the hell? Oh my god, I don't know what happened there. Like, the building exploded, the tank exploded, everything just exploded all at once. 
And we're down to one, one quarter left. Oh my god, there's like a mine right there. I'm gonna see if... I don't know if there's bosses or what. Oh, look, holy crap, look at this helicopter! Okay, run for it, man. Oh, he took a bullet to the butt. I was like, I'd like to see the end of one level, but at the same point, I would. We have a couple other, a uh, couple other games to check out. Oh my God, is that a helicopter? Can we get in this thing? Oh my God, don't kill me. Okay, we're we're totally making it into this helicopter if it's the last thing I do. Oh, what the heck? I touched it and it blew up. That was a bad guy helicopter. It totally looked like a good one that had just landed. Um, okay, let's. Uh, Let's, let's carry on just a little bit further. Um, yeah. Um, are there other arcade games, by the way? Like, speaking... Like, I, w I was super excited about Akari Warriors. And then when I found out that it had, like, a funky joystick, I got even more excited. But then when I actually sat down, and out of all the joysticks I own... Like, I own all sorts of different joysticks for, like, different, you know, situations. I do have joysticks that have, like, uh, you know, rotary knobs on them and stuff. But none that are, like, built into, in, into the joystick. And I do have like a flight stick that lets you twist left or right. And that actually works very good for arcade games like Zybots, where the arcade stick did twist left or right. But not this one where it's supposed to have like a rotary control where you can sort of turn 360 and you'll just aim in that direction. Um, like the control scheme for this, you know, it's very reminiscent of like Smash TV or something. If, if the controller just needed a second joystick, I could be playing this perfectly. But because it needs this, like, rotary joystick, which is something that I, I don't even... I can't even think of a joystick I could have purchased that would have let me do it uh, properly. It, 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 the controls just don't translate very well um, here, so... Uh, but, you know, the, it, it always makes me wonder, like, are there other arcade games out there that just, like... You literally just can't really play uh, in their proper state anymore? Like, Akari Warriors here is a pretty iconic arcade game. Um, it's, it's a shame that... There's no way to sort of play the original the way it was meant to be played. I would love to see a car, an Akari joystick, like, re-release, like a special edition one that you could buy that was the proper joystick so you could play this game. But, of course, who would buy that, right? And it would probably be super expensive and only work with this game. And then, like, nobody's going to purchase that. I don't know. It's like, it's a silly pipe dream of mine. I understand why they'll never do it. But, um, this is a sad thing about gaming culture, guys. There's certain things that, like, disappear forever. This is like part of it. Oh god, look at all these tanks. Blow them all up. Oh god, get out of that tank because that one's going to blow. Oh my god, and it got me. Man, this game is a quarter hog. If you played this back in the day. Like, I've probably thrown in like five bucks worth of quarters already. Oh my god, look. We have a, a machine gun? What is this L? Oh, I thought it would be a laser. Cool, we actually have a gun. Oh, look at it go. It's just like Contra, man. It's like having the machine gun. Look at this thing go. I kind of don't want to waste the bullets. Um, so you actually can totally run out of bullets and then have... Oh, what the hell? That guy exploded? Oh, and there goes my good gun. It is possible to totally run out of bullets and have, like, absolutely nothing left. Um, but, uh, I mean, you have to live long enough to run out of bullets. So I feel, I feel like running out of bullets is never our primary concern. And the tanks are easier than the dudes. You know what's funny? When I stop trying to play with the the angle at which I'm aiming and I just aim forward I actually can play this game a lot better so like forget about aiming left or right let's just aim forward and, and go from there oh my god that hill is alive and it's shooting arrows at us can we blow it up yeah we can okay can we blow up this tank Jesus oh there we go all right look at all these hills let's just lob continue to lob grenades at him man pick up the grenades because those are the things I actually care about so I don't know what country we're in or what's happening, but like, first I thought we were fighting like jungle gorillas and like soldiers, not like uh, apes. Uh, but now we're like getting into like Mayan temples and stuff. Uh, please write. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Where's the there, J J A and Y? Now where's the end? Show me the end. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, there we, nope, <laughs> Jaya, okay, game over, do we get, do we get a chance to continue, oh, we do, okay, one more life, and then we'll move on to the NES version here, oh my god, <laughs> I do know that the NES version is just as difficult as this one, apparently, and you end up dying a lot, oh god, <laughs> man, it's like Indiana Jones up in here now, Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. Do I have to kill that thing? 
Game over? Okay, that didn't count as a full life. We're doing one more life. In fact, we have two quarters. Maybe we should just use all, all the quarters. Okay, oh my god, look at this. This is chaos. Oh, everything's exploding. It killed that soldier. He got killed by his own mind. Oh, what the hell just got me? So What the heck? Okay, hold on. We're going over here. Oh my god, I, I was just trying to rotate. And we're dead again! We're dead again! What the hell, man? Okay, this is the last one. Oh, the soldier killed himself. Run for it! Just freaking run. This is crazy. What? I couldn't even outrun that explosion? This is nuts. This is nuts. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, run! Oh god, look at this, this is chaos. Can I kill these things, by the way? To aim at them first. Oh my god, oh god, look at that! How's anyone supposed to survive that? Alright, game over. Game over on the arcades. I can't keep going with these controls. We, we have to switch to a version of the game where I can actually control. So Akari Warriors on arcade, very, very difficult. Let's see what... Uh, the NES version look like and then we're gonna pop over to the any one of the NES's supposed competitors the Atari 7800 and see what that looks like and uh, I'm I'm curious to see if Atari could hold pace with Nintendo, but we'll start with the good old NES All right, so on the NES things start off much like the arcade the guys show up and just start blasting away on the screen good beginning uh, I can't read Japanese, so if somebody else can, can tell me what that means, I would appreciate it. I imagine it just means warrior. Uh, this game is just known as Akari, I guess. And off we go. We got the same opening uh, screen as the arcade. And, oh, we're even bouncing off the jungle floor this time. So I'm guessing that this time around, you simply walk in whatever direction you happen to be walking is, yeah. And the guys sort of like dance off screen. They do like a little jig when they get shot. <laughs> Now, the screen feels a lot bigger than it did in the arcades. Um, bullets are flying really fast. That's okay, the guys are like running around not really doing anything, which is pretty good. Um, I feel like you move extra slow. Like maybe it's just me, but it feels like you move really slow, especially compared to like how fast the enemies are moving. Like I feel like I'm just like at a snail's pace here. Um, definitely, this, this, you know, this is no Super C. You know, you're not gonna confuse it the Super C. Oh, and I'm out of bullets. I forgot. You have a set amount of bullets. All right, let's run these people over. Kaboom! How about a rocket to the face, buddy? Um, seems like a pretty faithful port so far. I'm curious to get to the sort of Indiana Jones part and see how it goes. Oh, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out! Oh, I just died in the tank. Okay. Um, riding around in tanks, by the way. Um... This, you know, sort of speaking of a tank connection, there's another famous shooter where you ride around in tanks, and that, of course, is Metal Slug, which is sort of an awesome Contra-style game, speaking of Contra. Uh, but the main character from this game makes an appearance in Metal Slug 6 and 7, apparently, or so I have read. I haven't seen it myself. Oh, is that a spread gun? Because if so, I want that bad. Uh-oh. Uh, A, B, B, A. There we go. <laughs> Learn that trick from the Angry Video Game Nerd. So the way this game works is when you're, you're dead, uh, you're kind of, it's kind of like game over, but if you press A, B, B, A, then you'll just come back to life. So, so this game is also famous for having one of the simplest cheat codes ever. And also, if you don't know that cheat code, you're going to have trouble beating it. It's the equivalent of inserting a quarter in the arcade edition. Because remember how I was just sort of continually quarter feeding so that I could like pass the game? That's basically the equivalent here. Oh my god, I died from that explosion. I feel like if you... Okay, hold on. A, B, B, A. If you didn't know this A, B, B, A code... As a kid, this game would seem like freaking impossible, but I think with the code, the game is like actually like very, well, I don't know if it's gonna be very easy, but it's easy because like you should just be able to like constantly, oh, am I just dead? What happened? <laughs> you should be able to just constantly like quarter feed your way to victory. Okay, the thing that sucks about this, the NES version is when you die in the tank, you don't have a chance to eject. You just have to sit there and wait for the tank to explode. Oh my God, we're dead again. This is crazy hard. This is crazy hard. You know what's weird about this? As this game showed up in the book, 1001 video games you must play before you die, but it also showed up on the Angry Video Games ner Nerds channel, like one of the worst NES games, right? Um, it's kind of funny how like a game that is considered so iconic and was like a breakout success for SNK, like these days we can play it and be like, oh my God, this game is brutal, you know, like. 
like, like I, 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 I was kind of curious, like, who's got it right? The 1001 book or the Angry Video Game Nerd? I think the nerd had it right, man. This game is, this game is challenging. My god. And the enemies move so fast, and they just touch you when you die. It's crazy. Oh, A, B, B, A. All right, back from the dead. And it's like all you all you have to do with every life is like try and scroll the screen a little bit, and that's how you make progress in this game. Just keep using the, just keep using that A B B A button for your the ride of your life, man. These guys were like dancing their way through the life. Something exploded up there. I don't know what the hell's going on over there. You get away from me, buddy. Okay, here look look at all the bullets flying. It's crazy. You can't even get near this stuff. Oh look, here's a gun. I definitely want that. Um, okay. I, and I wish you didn't run out of ammo. I think the game is hard enough that... I appreciate they were trying to go for something a little different here, but, like, you know, I don't think it's necessary to have you be run out of ammo in this game. Also, would it would it have killed them to let you move a little faster? Just a little faster. A little faster is all I'm asking. Oh, my God, explosions. Like, when you see a mine, there's no chance to run away from it. You're usually just dead. And also, the bullets are coming so fast that, uh, you know, you uh, you don't really have a chance to dodge them. Like, okay, these same levels in Super C, the top-down levels, were actually, I quite enjoyed them. Um, and they play very similarly to this, except I think they took the formula here and really improved it. And they were co-op as well, you know? Like, as I said, co-op was like a big selling point for this uh, game when it came out. But, uh, you know, I think Super C did it better, basically. I mean, it's not too surprising this game came out years ahead of Super C, but it, I mean, I guess it's interesting to see the progression from Commando to this, to Super C, to like, you know, better game, better top-down shooter games. Um, although, I don't really play too many games in this genre, but like, I'm struggling to think of a better one on the NES than Super C. Super C was pretty great. Just lob grenades at these guys, okay. Um, oh my god, they double-nated me! I got double-nated, man! Lob, lob grenades, I, there we go. Dance your way off that wall. Let's hop into our tank here. Our very useful tank that survives for about 10 seconds before it explodes. Actually, it's doing not bad right now. Oh, get away. The, the nice thing about the tank is at least it moves. At least it moves quickly. Okay, we're dead, and I can't get out. I'm just dead. Oh, I did get out, and I'm dead anyway. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. A, B, B, A. All right. Um, so I can already tell you with some assurance that when we do check out the Atari 2800 edition Oh my god, I ran into the other tank and died. Are you kidding me? And then I died. Oh my god ridiculous Oh my god, I, I'm gonna have to look up to see if on the Atari 7800 there was a cheat code because I can if not I can tell you with some assurance We're only seeing about the first 10 seconds of the Atari 7800 game. It's really just for comparison purposes We're not gonna get this far in the game this is nuts, man. This is this is absolutely nuts. If the ABBA code didn't exist, this game would be, I think, unplayable. I think, like, you'd have to be, like, a hardcore Akari Warriors fiend to, like, be able to, like, get anywhere in this game. It's crazy. It's crazy. Isn't it crazy to, like, think about games that were, like, you know, huge big deals when they came out and people were like, wow, this game rules. And then you go back and you play it, like, 30, 40 years later and you're just like, wow, this is... How did anyone enjoy this? There's so many things that, that uh, make it very difficult and challenging. I mean, that's that's the impression I'm getting here. Like, I would, I would love to hear someone's thoughts on, like, you know, what, when they played Akari Warriors in the NES for the first time. You know, someone who really liked Akari Warriors, like, like how did you do it? Because, like, I'm just dying, like, hand over fist here. Like, hand over fist. It's, like, unbelievable. Oh, there's a giant tank thing. Is that a boss? Maybe it's a boss. Okay, that seemed to do nothing. Just lob grenades at it. You know what, in fact, let's just go past it. Forget about trying to fight it. Fighting things in this game. Oh my god, it explode the exploding wall got me. A B B A. A oh, I'm alive. There we go. Run! <laughs> this is insane. A B B A. There we go. Alright, those guys are going nuts on the wall. Look, they're like just so excited to like throw bombs at me. Just run! Run for it! Let's just keep going, don't stop. Don't stop. Hey look, I think I'm invincible or something. Huh, maybe the game is like, he's died so many times, just freaking give it to him. Or maybe this is like a glitch in the game. Aw, oh, damn, it went away, no! <laughs> the Death Hut got me. All right, eat it, Death Hut. Or Pirate Hut or whatever the heck you are. Oh my god, there's a mine there, there's a mine! Oh, there's like a rocket! 
Who fired that rocket? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh my god. Uh, it's funny how like a lot of games in the 80s, by the way, are like based in jungles. You guys notice that? Like the 80s was like fascinated with like Rambo and like you know soldiers going into like foreign jungles and just killing a bunch of like guerrilla fighters. That was like a thing in the 80s that like people were like fascinated by. There's so many like examples of it. And then like not only was it in pop culture, but then they were like selling it to kids. Like there were Rambo action figures for for children. Rambo was like a rated R movie, wasn't it? Like, there's no reason kids should be watching that. And it's like, they didn't stop at Rambo. There's like Terminator and Robocop, like, action figures. Like, things were marketed towards kids that had no re- Like, kids should- Robocop is an insanely violent movie. It's like one of the bloodiest movies out there that I can think of off the top of my head. And that was marketed at kids in the 80s. It's nuts. It's nuts, man. The 80s was a hell of a time, I tell ya. It was fun growing up there, you know, like, uh, but definitely there was a lot of things, a lot of inappropriate things we should not have been playing that we were. A, B, B, A. Back from the dead. All right. So I think we're, we're, we're slowly reaching our cap here. Um, oh my God, this thing is going to chase me down, man. Oh, what do I do here? What do I do here? Oh my God, run, run. Oh, I can't believe I'm surviving this hail of bullets. I'm not falling for that helicopter again, or maybe I can actually get in it. I don't even know. I'm dead. I'm dead though. There we go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh look, they mined it up. Get in the helicopter. Oh, it actually you can actually fly it now. Yeah. Um, oh, what what the hell just happened? I like landed for some reason. All right, here we go. Now, now I'm in charge, man. Look, there's so so much on the screen the NES can't even handle it. It's glitching out. Everything is like fading away. I remember that the NES uh uh what would you call it? It's like everything gets transparent because it can't draw this many sprites on the screen at a time. So it has to alternate uh, every frame drawing one or the other. It's awesome. Oh, actually, I hope this shows up in the video. Maybe it won't because uh, YouTube is like 30 frames a second. Kaboom, and we died. That's okay. Um, all I want to do is see the Indiana Jones part. But man, this... So if this, if this is the first level, this is insane. Look how long this level is. So if you didn't know the ABBA code, you were you would have to pass this by yourself. That is freaking ridiculous. Um, at least kids wouldn't get bored of this game because they'd never be able to beat it. Oh God, look at this guy. He's going nuts. He's going nuts with the machine gun. I'm not even near him, and he's just like firing like crazy. And a, a rocket came out of nowhere and killed me. There's like rockets flying in off the screen. Oh my god, okay, can we kill this guy? Die already, man. Alright, here's a, here's a tank. Oh, of course. He got killed by by the the, the dreaded pink soldier. The uh, the dreaded pink soldier. Oh, what? He's running away now. You jerks. Alright, let's run these guys down. Come on, pinkos. Maybe they're pink because they're communists. Oh my god, and we're dead. The explosion's killing you is, like, actually a real hindrance. My god. Oh, look, we're at the little village. So it is following the arcade. Yikes. Man, this level is long. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna jump forward a bit. I wanna see if we actually get back to this Indiana Jones temple thing or not. Oh my god, I can't even get in the tank because I, like, die before I get there. And I blew it up! Okay. Alright, we got a pink tank and we're just rocking it. A hot pink tank in the jungle. We're just like non-stop firing. And we're dead, of course. Get out of the tank, man! Don't just sit there till it explodes. I don't know how to exit this tank. Maybe there's a button that does it. Yikes, this is this is so slow though. This is crazy. Oh my god, this this level, man. It just goes on and on. It's endless. War, man. Like I must be wiping out an entire like regiment of soldiers. This is crazy. Oh my god, I killed that thing and then the explosion got me. <laughs> oh man, this is like, this is going from being just like a little silly to like actually being like unfun. Oh, we did it! We made it to the temple! Finally. Oh my god, and there's, I forgot there's like mines everywhere. Let's see if I can blow these things up. No. Okay, oh my god. How do you, how do you destroy these things? Oh, that's not how you do it. You don't step on the mine. Okay, A, B, B, A. There we go. Can you destroy these things? I don't understand. Huh. 
Oh, maybe it's like if you step on certain, like, stones? Nope, they just shot me with an arrow in the freaking face. How do you kill these things? They're invincible, so you just have to dodge them? But that's, that's crazy, like, look at this. Okay, hold on. Okay, so hold on, oh god. Go, and I'm dead. <laughs> Jesus. Man, this game is like, this game is relentless. And everyone does like a crazy dance when I'm invincible. They're like, oh god, maybe I'm like stealth like the predator. I'm freaking him out. Just took an arrow. Yikes, oh man, all right. Um, well, we made it past the temple, I guess, that we saw in the arcade and the NES version. This, this is crazy, man. Like, you move so slow, you die so often that, like, it, it's hitting a point where, like, it's not even enjoyable to me anymore. Like, I, like, I honestly am, like, I think we're just gonna move on, because, because, like, this, this is nuts, man. It's, like, I'm just dying. I don't even feel, like, a sense of accomplishment, because every time I die, I'm just slamming in the password and, like, cheating my way to the next part. So it's, like, I, I must have died, like, 50 times. Look, I'm dead again. But it doesn't even matter because I have infinite lives. Uh, but like, oh my god, I don't know. Uh, I guess let's try and get this tank. Maybe we're like at a final boss. What the hell is that? Oh my god, go! Get in the thingy! Oh look, we are at a boss. Okay, you know what, I take it back. Let's try and destroy this boss first. Nope, you got me. Oh, we actually got out of the tank this time. Oh my god, it's just like another bridge. Okay, this level's gonna go on endlessly. Alright, we have seen Akari Warriors on the NES. I can only imagine what the Atari 7800... So the Atari 7800 was like a competitor to Nintendo, in theory, but it definitely was not as good as Nintendo. So, oh, hold your breath, everybody, because we're going in. Let's see what this puppy looked like on the Atari 7800. Alright, here we are, Akari Warriors, the good old Atari 7800. Um... I, I don't know if it necessarily looks better or worse than the NES at this point. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead, one player, we have intermediates, experts, novice. Well, at least they have difficulty levels, advanced, expert, novice. We're gonna go with novice. And, uh, huh. The sound effects leave something to be desired. It has that crappy Atari sound, but the graphics are actually pretty good, I gotta say, like all things considered. So I'm using an actual Atari joystick, an Atari 7800 joystick, and um, we're dead already. Is that totally it? Oh, good. There we go. All right. The, the graphics look in some ways better than the NES, but in some ways kind of worse. It's interesting. Oh my God! There's guys everywhere. Just run, run for it. You can move faster, which is nice because you can like dodge these bullets. You move faster, and the bullets are slower. My god, this is crazy. Okay, go. Go. Game over! What? Game over! Oh my god. Oh wait, I forgot to look up if there's a cheat code. Uh, I don't know if there there is because the Atari systems, I don't ever really remember them having cheat codes, but let me just have a really quick look here. Oh look, and you get to watch a couple of computers play while I look up cheat codes. Oh my god, the computers are doing so horribly. It, when even the computer demo does terrible, you know you've got a hard game. And look, it's just firing randomly. It's like, fire everything! It's like, we're definitely not surviving this. Just go! Just go! Akari Warriors, Atari 7800, cheat code. Sorry, I'm doing this as I watch the, uh, the computer play here. So, Game Facts says that there are no cheat codes. Okay, hold on. Uh, Moby Games says that there are no hints, tricks, or cheat codes for this game. Okay, so there's no cheat codes! So we're kind of on our own on this one. I, I can't get over how bad the computer is at this game. That, that is a terrible sign. Alright, we're gonna give this one more shot. One player, and I just, I wonder how difficult Expert is. Let's just try Novice, see how far I can get. But, uh, if I fail again, then we're gonna, we're, we're totally gonna, we're totally gonna try, uh, try Expert. So when you hold down the shoot button, you kind of, like, lock directions. Interesting. But when you're not shooting, you can, like, change directions. Look! Oh! <laughs> I shouldn't mess around in this game, because this game plays for real. I was gonna say, look, my guy has a little bit of a beard, see? He's sort of like, uh, I don't know, he's like a bearded, a bearded gentleman. Oh my god, those people are playing for keeps. Throw the grenade! Oh god! Yeah, I don't know. I, w I guess I would say overall the graphics are worse than the NES. 
like the colors and stuff aren't bad, but everything is like far less detailed. The NES did look better than this. Uh, even though there's like some aspects of the graphics that are like a little better. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Is that it? Are we dead? We didn't even make it to the tank. Game over. Oh my God, this game's unplayable. This game is literally, as I said, without the ABBA code, the game would be unplayable on NES. Well, there is no ABBA code on uh, on um, 7800 here, and it is unplayable. Okay, we're gonna go with, uh, where's Expert? I just wanna see what, what Expert entails. So let's see what happens here, all right. Seems just about as hard as Novice. Oh God, I killed myself stupidly. That's okay. Okay, I get, I get, I do get an extra life, right? Oh my God, they're just lobbing grenades at you. I guess the one nice thing is this game has no like time limit. So, hua, boom, blow that up, kill that guy. We're actually doing reasonable at expert here. Like compared, compared to novice, it's like I'm not noticing a huge, a huge change in difficulty. You know, maybe the guys are slightly more aggressive when you die so easily in novice anyway. What difference does it make? Okay, we got some gas, even though we don't have any fuel. I guess on uh, expert, the guys like shoot a bit more or something. But like, I don't know, like look, we're we're making it fairly far here. Okay, throw a grenade. Just throw some grenades to like scare them away. Oh my God, I, were, I think we're dead now. Didn't even see the tank this time. It's at the top of the screen there. Yikes! Oh my God, Akai Warriors kicked our behinds are behinds hardcore man car warriors is one of the games in the book of thousand of video games you must play before you die and i can honestly say this is not a must play um maybe at some point akari warriors was hey did the red guy just kill the blue guy oh my god he just killed his pal not only are these guys bad at this they're killing each other man the, the friendly fire in this game should not be a thing are you crazy my god co-op would not be easier uh, maybe playing this with a friend in the arcades at one point was like, like kind of like a fun novelty. But I think that there are far better top-down shooter games uh, that you could play co-op as well. You know, like Super C. You know, Contra is, is a game that's not necessarily that much easier with the second player because the second player can kill you through screen scrolling and stuff. But the top-down levels of Super C, I think, are even a lot better than this. Um, and again. This set the stage, so like let's you know tip our hats to Akari Warriors for what it was. It was an iteration on the formula that was introduced in Commando. Introduced some new concepts for its time was pretty cool, but I think in retrospect it just doesn't really hold up. In my opinion, this game is like not even really playable anymore. Like fans of it are really gonna enjoy it. So I'm not saying no one could enjoy it. But for most people, they're not going to have the skills necessary to even get that far in like one level. Like it's it's a brutal game. It's a brutal game. So I definitely don't think this is a must play. It's just going to piss people off. Like the majority of people who try this are just not going to enjoy themselves. And if you can't enjoy yourself, then I think it's just not a game worth returning to. That's it. If you are an Akari Warriors hyper fan, I would love to hear your thoughts on this game. You know, don't take the fact that I wouldn't recommend this game widely as a condemnation against Akari Warriors ever having existed. Um, you know, as I say, it set the stage for things to come. So if you are a hyper fan, I would love to sort of hear your thoughts on it, your take. You know, let us know what you love about this game and what you enjoyed. For us, I think for the most part, but beyond watching a few pros play this game, I don't think too many people are going to have too much fun coming back to this one. But hey, that's just my thought. What do you guys think of this game? You know, am I right? Am I wrong? You know, do you agree with me? Do you have memories of this game? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, whatever you think of this game here, hopefully I've made today entertaining. If I have, don't forget to slap the like button, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. I will be back soon with the editor of the game and the ongoing quest to try every game in the book. A thousand video games you must play before you die. So hey, you don't want to miss out on the next episode. Until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves. Don't get lost in any unforgiving jungles and don't have a partner who's going to hit you with a grenade because that is not a partner you want to bring into combat. And otherwise, take care of yourselves. Peace. So ABBA is the code that lets you respawn. There is also a level select code. Uh, interestingly enough, you enter it at the title screen. The code is 
up, down, A, A, B, left, right, A, B, up, A, down, right, right, left, B, up, left, A, right, B, left, right, A, left, up, A, down, A, right, left, B, start. Are you kidding? Were they afraid someone would accidentally figure out the level select code? Why did you come up with such a crazy long level select code? That's nuts. That's insane. I've never heard of such disparity between cheat codes in a game before. ABBA and that monstrosity. Anyway, if you're going to play the game, I guess use the level select code. It'll uh, be helpful.